Hey everyone, I wanted to give you some more um, specific instructions on this uh, discussion that you're going to do in Questionsly for Module 5 because it's going to ask you to go to Project Implicit and take the Implicit Bias um, test. So let me show you how to do that. So if you click on this link here, you will come to a page that looks like such. And you don't need to log in or to register to do this. You just need to choose United States and that should be the default and then click go. And it's going to ask you basically privacy information and you can click yes that you want to proceed. And then you're going to see this page which has all of the um, implicit bias tests. And so you can choose one of them. You don't have to do more than one for the assignment. You just need to choose one. So weight, religion, I mean, there's, there's all kinds of things on here. And I'm going to totally leave that up to you. If you want to take more than one, you can certainly do that, but you don't have to. So um, I took the weight one, so I clicked on here. And then um, it gave me some starts the test and I'm not going to go through the whole test because you're going to have to read all of the questions it also gives you um, decline to answer I am going to go through though just to show you what eventually happens so that you're aware of it because at one point in the test it's going to ask you to um, use the keyboard um, to choose uh, some really make some quick responses about some words and some pictures that they show you so um, I just want to get to that part so this is all kind of some preliminary stuff and um, like I said you don't have to do that but here it comes to this so during this part right here after you go through all of those other preliminary questions and again you can decline to answer all of them um, and then you will get to this. But you're going to be using the E and the I computer keys to categorize items into groups as fast as you can. So there are four groups um, and the items that belong to each. Each test that you take will have a different set of instructions. But um, you want to make sure that you read this. There's seven parts to this particular test, and the instructions change for each part. So make sure that you are paying attention. So when you click the continue button, um, you're going to put your left finger on the E and the left finger on the I and then the space bar. And when you um, are ready to start, you want to answer these as quickly as you can. Because implicit bias, remember, is something that we are not aware of. So don't think about it too much, okay? All right, so if I press the sp space bar, it's going to start. So you just click through, and let's say you miss something. So then you would, it will give you a red X, and then you have to choose the right answer. And you just keep going through it, and... And finally, you will come back and you'll go to number two. When you get through with all of this, it will print out um, the results of your implicit bias test. Once you get those results, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Questionsly. And you guys all know how to do that now. And then you're going to start a new post. And um, you can do that by going here, and I gave you a list of questions um, that I want you to discuss in your post about um, your, the results of your test. And here's an example. So this is an example. This is, I actually took that test, and this is what um, I discovered about myself. So after you do your own, then I want you to um, go and find somebody else's in the class and um, respond to their post and see what they said and what they found out about themselves. And so what you're really doing here is you are comparing your results of a test 
to somebody else. And you're also looking at different um, results from different people. So um, that's what implicit bias is all about. So remember when we're in discussion boards, we use, um, we're nice to each other. And um, this is an opportunity for us to learn and grow, learn about ourselves, learn about others, and learn about our implicit biases. The more we, we become aware of our implicit biases, um, the less biased we become. Thanks everyone. I'm looking forward to reading um, the results and to jumping into the conversation.